Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! Welcome back to the Grow Tent, everybody. We got a great episode for you today. Welcome to part three of the Making Feminized Cannabis Seeds uh, video series. So today is part three, uh, and what we're going to be doing is going over the step of what I do in week three or part three. You can interchange those to whatever you want, part three, week three, uh, but we're just calling it part three. So today we're going to go over that and what we see, what we're looking for, and what we will be doing. So first things first, guys, you can remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch the full video. That's all fantastic. It all helps out a ton, and I appreciate it. Kind of cool stuff guys you're looking for any kind of new light new tent new whatever check out mars hydro this is actually the second way the channel makes money it's not as much as the patreon but it's still uh, a nice little bump uh if you use the code WTTGT whenever you check out you will uh we will get a nice kickback and you will get a nice discount at checkout for any kind of new lights new tents new vans etc mars hydro pretty much makes anything you could want for your tent they pretty much make uh to help you grow uh, they've got great products. We've been using them for years. They've been the main chance supporter of the channel since we had only 500 subscribers. They've been a, a supporter of the channel and a sponsor. So thanks again, uh, Mars Hydro. Please remember to use the link in the video description below. Use our code, get a discount. We get kicked back. Much appreciated. All right, that's enough. Okay. All right, so first things first. Uh, let me get the camera into a slightly better position here. And... I have to adjust it just slightly. Hold on. Can't see. Mount was in the way. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on this branch right here. All right. Slide it back the other way just a touch. Ugh, mount is in the way. So we're going to be focusing on this branch right here. So let me zoom in here for a second. Enhance. All right, so as you can see, there's our branch right right there, uh, or our top. And as you can see, the nodes, the, the where the pollen's getting ready to come in, they are starting to really, really show up and be very pronounced. So we're gonna do, we gotta do a little bit of work to get ready for them for whenever they start, start dropping pollen. Now, technically, you don't have to do any of this to collect the pollen. You can leave everything just like it is, and you'll still collect pollen. But it does make it a little bit harder on you. So, wait one second. I set my scissors down too far away. So, what I actually do, you can see we've got good stacking up and down the branch. Let's go up just, you can see we've got good stacking up and down the branches. But what I will do is I actually come in here and I am going to defoliate a bunch of these leaves. And I'm not doing it for light penetration or anything like that. It's nothing that complicated or, or that in depth or serious but I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna remove a majority of these leaves and once again it's not because I it's you know oh the light penetration and do this and do that for when we're defoliating it it's actually for a simple reason it makes collecting the pollen way easier whenever all this stuff isn't in the way okay that's literally the only reason because instead of having to constantly come up here and try to like pull leaves away, because I'm gonna, these will open up and they will start dropping pollen straight down out of them. Well, instead of having to try to tuck up into these and then knock stuff off, if I just chop the fan leaves out of the way, it just makes it easier to put something right here without all the leaves and everything getting in the way. It makes your uh, bud structure look a bit, little bit ugly, but I mean, who cares? It's the, it's the male. It's the male colas we're dealing with today. Well, kind of male colas. So we just chop this stuff out of the way just to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. And we do this on week three, which that's what we are in, week three. And you can already see, we're probably about a week, week and a half away from getting pollen based on 
how these are developing. So we're getting closer. We're not there yet, but we are right on track. And uh, so we're right on the way. And that's uh, what we do for our step one. Hang out for a second. We're going to get set up for what is our other thing we do during week, week three. Okay, we're back. Now we're set up for part two. We got some gloves because we mess around with the soil. So for part two, you can see we've got all kinds of bracing on this mother plant. That was actually set up before we had the scrog net up. We didn't have the, uh, the help of the scrog net. Now that stuff's all kind of pointless. But uh, you can see all the bracing we have down here for this mother plant. She's got a nice big, I mean, stalk on her. You can see how big her, her stalk is right there. And that's just in soil for a mother plant. Nice, big, healthy plant. Okay, so one of the things that I will do whenever I'm, because when you're doing these, these seeded runs, it's the, the, the flower process, instead of being eight week, is going to be 12 week every time because the flower process starts over any time, as soon as you add the pollen. So let's say you were into week four flower, which is generally the week you will add your pollen whenever it's done being made. Uh, after you have added your pollen, as soon as you add the pollen, your eight week flower starts over. So instead of being at week four, you're technically now back at the start of week one. So remember that. Uh, I'm clean that branch up just a little bit. A little one's never gonna make it to the top of the canopy, so we're gonna pull it off. Sorry, sidetrack, focus. Focus GT. Okay, so we've got our plant here, and what you'll notice what I've done is I leave some room at the top of the bucket. And this is for a particular reason. Whenever we're going through the first four weeks of flower, this plant is going through its normal processes of being a plant in flower. So we have it in ocean forest. Well, the thing is, whenever we start over the flower count, they don't necessarily need the same nutrients that they would whenever we're trying to go for making seeds as whenever we are trying to go for, uh, you know, making regular flour. So generally, if I, this was a non-seeded run, I would just have this all filled up with ocean forest. But since we are going to be doing a seeded run and the nutrients they require is going to be different, which we're going to talk about nutrients and when and how we give them and the way it changes from a normal run, We'll be talking about that in a later episode, not this episode, not later this episode, but a later episode. Uh, man, I need to sweep up right here. I got a little bit of, of dirt. Focus, GT. So, what I like to do is I'll leave myself some room, and then I re-amend, not with Ocean Forest. Oh, the fan's blowing it everywhere. Not with Ocean Forest, but I'll re-amend with Happy Frog. Because Happy Frog is more set up the leaf in there out of there happy frog is more set up as like a veg nutrient than a flower nutrient like ocean forest and I probably put another one more bucket in there I thought two would get it these 10 gallon pots are huge that just lets you know how big this plant is these are 10 gallon pots plant way wider than the top uh, of the bucket so we'll probably put one more bucket in there but once again, we're using, we're re-amending with Happy Frog, and we'll do it to the tops of all of these, and uh, and then keep going. So that's the second thing I do. Uh, but these are the two major events that happen during week three of flower, and uh, I think that's probably good for this episode. These are the two major things. Uh, I trim the leaves back, and I re-amend with Happy Frog on top of the ocean forest. And uh, I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. I'll see you guys next time. GT, out.
What are you still doing here? No one told you to keep staying in this video. Go on, close the video, get out of here. You are still here. What are you doing? All right, I guess since you're still here, and since this will be in the middle of the blackout section and not the end, I guess I'll give you a tiny sneak peek of something that's coming up right now.